Okay, let's see if this works. Um, I'm using this on my personal PC. I have no camera, I'm just using a screen capture. Anyway, I um, hope this works. Uh, I will check on my machine here if it actually works. Yeah, it seems so. Okay, um, actually I plan to do this as a video, edited and professional and all that stuff, but as everyone is doing lockdown videos, I don't do it myself. So what I will do, this is a short thing of sprint layout and how to do reverse engineer of a PCB using this one. So this first part will not be actually much about reverse engineering. Instead, it will be a quick tour of the program and how to use it and why to use it and why not to use it and especially why not to use it. And did I forget to tell you why not to use it, but still it's useful for reverse engineering. So. <clears throat> what I have a sheet note here as well, so I really, uh, PCB lay, sprint layout. Okay, first when you start it, do always an update, and if there are an update, do the update because well, they do update. It, it can be useful. They sometimes you fix bugs and introduce bugs, but anyway. Uh, okay, sprint layout. What is it? Simple program to do PCBs, and the big advantage of this one is that you do not have a schematic, so you have to do the PCB. The big disadvantage of this is that you do not have a schematic, so you, there's nothing that can check that you are doing stuff right or wrong or anything. So, well, yeah, um, anyway, first do the updates and the next one is you want to do a new project, you, and I always use empty working, you can use other ones, else, but I use empty one, and like this, remove that one, we don't need that one now, and yeah. Here you can uh, in uh, edit board properties. Here you set the size of the board, the name of the board, and if it's multi layer or not. Multi layer means that it's four layers. This program handles two layers or four layers. That's it. And I usually use multi-layer mode even if I do a two-layer one. And I will explain that later. So keep it as multi-layer. And here, down here, we have the different layers. The copper layer one and the silk screen layer one. Internal layer, internal layer. Copy layer 2, that means on the bottom side, and see screen on the bottom side, and outline. So if you press copy layer 1 and do something, a track, something like that, push it like this, click right mouse button to exit from it, you do it as a copy layer. On six screen, you do it as if it was a silk screen. And yeah. So basically different layers and here you add where, what layer to edit on and if you do like this and the screen and if you press out or happier you hide the cop layer etc. It can be useful later. I will show. Anyway you can mark like in any paint program and press delete to remove everything that it's marked. 
Um, yeah, so we have different commands. We have the zoom. Well, actually, it's over there. You use the scroll button, the scroll bar on your mouse, and it scrolls where the mouse is. Track, you do a track like this. And on the left side here, you have sizes like I want to do one millimeter track. Remember, it doesn't have any schematics to do, so you can do anything you want. <coughs> okay, we have pads like this, and I will explain somewhat later because this looks like holes, but they are not. Uh, I can do it now actually. Um, pad here, that's a hole. You think that looks like a hole? If you right click on it then here, you can see the properties of, you can right click and choose properties or you can see that is selected here. You can see, but actually look at the color here, blue. That means it's on the top side, copper. So if you look on the bottom side and hide it, it will go away. And this is quite annoying thing because of the pad it's a pad. It's nothing else on the pad. So click on it here. You can see through pad. Bam. You can see it change color. And if, if you go to C2 now and hide it there, it's there. So no, now it is a hole. Without through pad, it's just a pad. And then we have thermal pad. This means that it goes through the all, all layers and connected to fields. So if you go to the internal layer, we can press this function here and that fills. That fills up the, like ground plane, something like that. You can see it's connected. If you do internal layer here and do the fills and it fills up, but you will see that's connected as well. This means that if this was a multi-day card, this will be shorted to ground or plus 5 volt. So what I always do is, that's why actually I am using, always using multi-board, is that I remove this. If I do it. And I will show later how to do it all the time, all the time. While I'm enjoying a beer. Anyway. That's pads. We have then remove uh, hide those. We have SMD pads, like like it says, it's an SMD pad. And if you click on it on the left side, you can see how it's 2.5 millimeters wide and 0.4 millimeters high. Uh, nothing more about that. We have circle. Here you can see it's one millimeter and the outer diameter is 1.3 millimeter and the inner diameter is one millimeter and if you select it here you can also do like this so you can do the half circle something like that yeah it's like a paint program more or less it's not for not like a electronic CAD or something like that yeah just a paint program Rectangle, approximately the same. You click on where you want to start, click on the rectangle you want to start, and where it should end. You can move it around. Just and select it and delete. Special form is something I actually never used. I don't bother. Text, yep. As it says, it does text. And you can put it here on the copper plane or put it on the silk screen. You can put it on the silk screen on the bottom side. And you can see it's mirror because you see it through the board from the top side. Hey, turbo fire. 
it is this. Okay. Um, so, uh, solar mask. Um, okay, save the. We. Ah, this one more. Copper one. Pad here. It's now, if you click it on through pad, it remembers it. And on photo view here, we can see how it looks like when it uh, is a PCB. So if I do a track here, oh, the one millimeter is way too. I use open 15. If I do a trace around here and photo view here, we can see the, like the PCB. Here you can see the golden one. You can solder on this one. And this one is hidden by solar mask. If you press on solar mask and click on that one, you can see it change from white to cyan. So now solar mask. Now you can't solder on this one. And I will show later why this is useful. And checking my sheet. Okay. So it's more or less you use it like a paint program is it's, it's nothing more like that solar mask is useful and the multi-layer mode uh, corrections it can be used like uh, air wires on decent programs and but uh, like this and you can move it around and you can actually do a right click on it and or here and outer root and it does an outer root of it outer root is always worthless this is worthless times 10 so simply i don't know why they have added that function but well maybe if you do do real designs in this program if you do your bad ass crazy this is done for reverse engineering only uh, that's my opinion anyway or maybe an extremely small fast PCB of something that you don't want to do a schematic just to want to do something fast but I wouldn't do designs in this one the test one uh, is, can be used like this. I do a trace here like this and test and if it highlights where it goes. So if I do a pad here and put it there and go to the bottom side and do a trace here, T for the high, false key for it, and test or X as I on the keyboard, you can see it highlights where it goes. This one can be useful for other re-amiga projects as that I will show later. Um, measure is simple that you measure a distance if you click and hold. You can see that it's uh, 24.13 millimeters uh, in the x axis and um, minus 11.43 millimeters in the y axis distance is 26.7 meter millimeters as you can see in the white there it can be useful and the angle etc and photo view i showed and this is a grid this uh, actually sets a grid yeah, that you can see here that it snaps to when you draw you can set it to really small and then you have to zoom in really much because to see it or you can have it in the different standard and actually when drawing like this you can as you can see it down here uh, at the bottom you can see press control and then you can move freely in the grid shift it uses half the grid so and um, space you change the type of band on the trace always right click to accept uh, exit from that one anyway um, so what now uh, because of this software is really strange you want to do macros 
in different programs in like Eagle etc you would say that like uh, a library but because of the quite strange behavior of um, Sprint I use always also macros for standard things like a via like this one put an RV here and uh, click on it and uh, do our my preferred size I prefer my VS to be small so uh, the outer inner diameter is 0.3 millimeters and outer is 0.6 this is my typical via I use for signals and it's a through pad and thermal pad and remember if I show this one it's connected to all so what I do is to remove the connections to layers and then press layer individual this means it will be individual to all layers and not multiple so I, if I do it on the power plane like the red one I use always as a power plane like this it's connected to one side here if I check the ground plane it's not you can see here and so do like this so layer individual uh, not the zone connected and I click on it select it also solder mask click on it and remove it check in photo views that it's not golden this means this will be a hidden via what I do now is actually save it click on it or mark the part that you want to use as a macro or component or whatever file and save as macro okay I've done uh, some here because I had done several tests of uh, this tutorial as a video but failed utterly because of OBS is stupid <laughs> so let's do a new one I will call this one Uh, my own and then here small here uh, okay uh, now you need to actually this is really bad you need to exit the software and start the software again and if you press the M here on the right top here you can see your different uh, here my own you can see small via here it is now we can take it here and drag it where I want to have it a small via 0.3 millimeters in the diameter 0.6 millimeter out the diameter it's the smallest one that most software uh, PCB houses use without sh charging extra and uh, Mr. Gurney, Mr. Ragone, yeah, KiCad, etc. It's way much better than this software. This is shit, but it's like 50 euros or something. It's, it's quite simple. And I will show later, you will understand why I use it for this one. So, anyway, so now I do never use the paths, etc., on the, on the left side. I simply use my own stuff I do so this via this uh, one I will use like all traces later and I can uh, click on it control C control V and well like when I want so you need to do everything you you want to use as a macro uh, because then if if you forget it and you use it just uh, you like this and do traces and yeah that's nice oh I want a big one ah, I use this one pad here and click here and ah, I want a bigger one I want to do uh, one millimeter and 1.3 millimeter 
OK. And wow, this is suddenly not hidden. And later, oh, I want, uh, I need to do this on my multi-layer board. And oh, I forgot to have a multi-layer board. Put it on multi-layer. And OK, I want to do thermal pad perfect and I do the traces etc here I'm all happy and everything is fine and then okay I want to do a ground plane I pull in here pull in the fill I forget and right here pull in the fill because I want a power plane and you for hide those because you are annoyed by the colors and you do more take this one and trace it here and then you just forget it and what you have done is here due to this one you have a short to power plane and ground plane you have a short here and if you have several of them later and if you do a test X here test or the left on test they will be highlighted. You have a short here. So this is why you always do a macro because then when you do in the macro you do make sure the thermal pad is disconnected from everyone. Even if you do not use multi-layer board because later when you want to this stupid thing will not happen again because it doesn't check against any schematic. You just do what you draw and you are drawn it like it so you wanted that one so do not do that simple so everything as a macro and think three times before you save it hide the solar mask uh, make sure that multi-layer is on and the thermal pads is removed and disconnected and it behaves like one board because also if you do like this like that you can do that I actually show you a new command here if you right click on it and arrange circular you you can do a array of 10 of 10 like this bam you want to do a socket or whatever then suddenly everyone behaves like the first one and then if you wanted to have them like thermal pads you have to do it individually of everyone and if you've done several hundreds of them like you did on 3000 you will be pissed off yourself so okay what what did i do if you want here as command i put on one thing here and i clicked on it and tile So I put an array of five or M1. You do five of them, 2.54 millimeters apart, like an IC socket or anything. If, if you click on it, you can see that all get checked now. And this is because it's done as a group. It's done as a part. If you want to split it up, you can uh, right click on it and split group. Now you can uh, move the objects individually. If you want to do a part a group again, because you maybe have a special part that uh, is correct like this or something like that. You can just mark it, right click, build group and it will be a group. And if you want to do right click on it here and split group. If you want to mark it and right click, you can choose component. You want to create component? Yes. Here you can call it uh, U1 and value whatever. You want it to be heavy visible, you can see here and okay okay maybe you do like this c1 i'll remove that 
right click it remembers where you are or what say you are uh, okay q1 oh no really but anyway u1 and whatever this wall and here what layer should the screen text be noticed on c1 c1 and here show pick and place data click it here and i always do like this when i do a component this is for connectors resistors uh, yeah, components basically and uh, this is one uh, if you click it here uh, you will have a pick and place data for the board house or whatever and my locator that i'm using Rea Mega uses a pick and place so i always use this one and you can see the cross here in the middle of the part there's that is where it will be picked like this okay here you can uh, click on the u1 you can move where you want the text to be viewed whatever because you maybe want to have it different because of lots of other text etc you can also click on this one and edit individual how you want the text to be shown sometimes you can't be here choose here you need to do an own value anyway you can do narrow wide etc i use this one uh, open seven zero degrees this is what i'm using on remakes etc for uh, values actually more and maybe one millimeter for components and values are about seven bold and narrow here, here you can do so it's yeah it's up to you if you do the right uh, double click on it you can see the component here you can also here set that it's three maybe but then you notice that it's on both of them so i i never use that one anyway uh, this is it and you can see the plus it's a uh, pick and place component if you press here r1 r1 you can see a list of all components so you can do we can do a um, here uh, arrange uh, that wrong distance but you can do a, um as plcc whatever anyway that's it and if you want to say this as a component or a macro just select it right click uh, select it i mean select it and save as macro so you can use it as a component whatever so before you do any reverse engineering etc you do all components your pads for smds everything you you do in here so yeah to own macros and yeah so you have done that and you have okay i can show you ah forget this one if you have a group you can see like this if you click on anything it will move like individual like one piece if you want to know um, edit a individual part of this one you hold down your alt key and click on it and then you can do a thermal pad because we forgot to do it properly first time and you can edit it like this maybe you want to have that pin connected to ground alt key enter it and i usually press this one and it connects all parts you can see here that it's very close to there so that one so i can remove there so So always, every component you do, do this as a macro. Do not try to reuse them or anything. You do an own macro as usual on all programs. Do not trust other person's work because it will fail. 
and I will show you because this is some uh, standard components that are here. They can be useful. Oh, normal ship here. You use F1. You remember when you drag it here, you can do add as component as well, and it will show ask you for component number, but. I never use that one because it will ask on everything. But this is straight. I draw it here, uh, moved it here like a macro and predefined. Photo view, you can see what? No solo mask, what does this? Why? Why? Because they are not drilled hold and now they are drilled so for some reason the defined components are not drilled and of course not they are not thermal pads either and because you are selecting several thermal pads you can't select how they are connected to internal grounds you have to do it manually for everyone da 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 this takes time so before you do anything, you do it proper, you design it yourself before, because when you're in the flow, you will miss this simple thing and connected everything to ground and you have a short. Uh, all Reamigas is done with this and I will show soon why. But first, the quick tour of this program and okay actually this is my end of this quiet program this simple program is not much to do uh, okay general options and general uh, options here you can select the colors you want to show here uh, if it's millimeters or mils if you are crazy crazy janky millimeters of course uh, yeah um we have also um, a DRC. We have actually a DRC here. And say that we do a trace here. Click on trace here. Why? Why? Uh, why do I? Why? How it's. I go out and exit so, like this. Do a track here, like this. And DRC, here we set the rules, how tight it is, is suited for uh, for uh, ELC PCB for me. If I do a complete here, yeah, it does it in no errors, no errors. And if I do a uh, tighter here, I can do this trace close to that one and I do a DRC comma it will say that it's too close fine but as it's not schematic see it touches no errors you maybe don't want to have this one those traces should not touch but as it touches this program says it's okay and okay, uh, this is stupid. Why do I use this crappy program? I'm glad you asked uh, because I will show you. You can use scan copy, top copy, load here, top, we do it here, and load bottom. Here, here is uh, the, actually the next part of this video. Uh, I will show it. I uh, will do a reverse engineering of this, the old 30 card for the Amiga 3000, uh, the Amiga 4000. And this is why I use it. Uh, because here you have a scanned PCB. Yeah, I've sanded it off all unnecessary. I can do like this. I can point out the vias. Steve Trace uh, 
can go to the top side. You see, I can use the scanned photo as a template to do my PCB and it's quick, it's fast, you can just do it. So this is the reason, you do it fast and quick. But there are some, I haven't adjusted anything, I will do that in the next part uh, as a video. But as you can see, I can use the photos as a quick way to do, uh, do a complete PCB and now I can do X and test it here. This is why I use it, because of this function. I can use a scanned photo to just draw it all. I don't have to think anything, I don't have to do a schematic anything. This is why. And so this is why this area that uh, the next videos will be uh, simple. There will be edited videos because, yeah, uh, I will need to think more about this quick tutorial or show of this Swift software. Yes, well, why not do it live? And I will show you a real beast of software. This is my different works I've done. And we can do the 3000 and re Amiga. No wrong release the Amiga SMD version no I don't this is the Amiga 3000 I done the complete board this way it took me one year uh, but here it is it works fine and now because of this if I got a board that I want to repair I can go here press X and test and click here and it will highlight like PCB Explorer where it goes so it can help me to repair machines and do this but it's a pain in the ass if you want to do any changes like if I want to change this one to another side click on it set the layer C2. So it's on the bottom side. But it will not complain that it is now a big short on several data lanes here. So it's good for reverse engineering, but the rest, no. As, as you can see, it takes ages because it shorted both to, well, lots of traces. And this is single threaded so my Ryzen machine simple we'll have to work on one thread so do not design anything with this software do not do anything serious with it but it's perfect to do a reverse engineer and actually you can't also cancel this one they just have to wait Uh, actually you can do if you just a quick uh, if you do a board like I showed some time ago the file that I never will release uh, the Apollo 1240 1260 but I reversed well not me only there are some more people I can now do like this and technically I could do a schematic reverse engineering schematic out of this because now without even when when I did the board I didn't know what point goes to where or anything but now I know I can figure out what goes to where without measuring everyone you can click on this one and you can see where it goes and the normal places here where it goes 
and this is somewhat special I will do that as a test later uh, this program uses four layers can use four layers only and this is a six layer board so some parts are not shown here that's why I have two files uh, So I can show that what parts are what. Anyway, that's another thing. And actually, I think this is no. I missed one small thing. I can do another one here. The Riamiga here. The Riamiga 1200 revision one. But find that I actually worked on here. No, yeah, I can. And you can actually here. If you right click on a trace or object or whatever, you can actually name it D12. I don't know if it's D12, uh, most likely not. Then it will be named D12. So you can make a netlist of it, but you can't export it as a netlist. And you can also take that one and rename name it to well, D12. So it doesn't check anything that you are used. You can right click on it and select D12 and it will show everything D12. So you can name a part of a trace to something, but there are no checks. You, you are on your own. So well, in, yeah, maybe not that useful, but anyway. So this is my quick or whatever tour of PCB layout and why I use it. Um, I can also show something here. There are more functions where I will show them later I guess. If you click on a pad you can move it here. You can see that it's connected because it detects that it's on the plane. But like this it will not complain that it is wrong even if you short lots of traces. Actually, if you move it like this and it will think that everything is connected like big, big, sudden mess. So, yeah, that's why I told Turbofy that change anything in the sprint layout is if you set a masochist. And you can right click on a component and rotate it, etc. Yeah, you use it as like a paint program, simple to use, but it's simple to use, and there's a reason because of this one. You can undo control Z, but yeah, remember that this is actually a fault I did on the Ria Mia 1200 because I wanted to have this DRA1 here. Uh, it's a resistor uh, hack on the 1200 that goes from this point to the solder from this point to that point here, the solder resistor here. So I put this one instead so you don't have to do the through hole cap. and. I had hidden this layer, so I put this, ah, okay, here is a good place, and I forgot about it, didn't do a test or anything, what happens, it's connected to a trace, and that screwed up all my design, and it didn't complain anything when I do an export to Gerber's or anything, because it believed this was it. So, yeah. Being tired, drunk, whatever, you can totally screw up your design. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for this quick tour. Is this something else you have some questions about this or one? Or should I just go back to my drinking beers and... Uh, Listen to music or check the YouTube or something if someone else are crazy enough to do stream in midnight. 
Oh, and O here, the, um, that one is outline. This is a white line here, and simply it's where the PCB fab cuts the PCB. And if I remember correct, they use the inner trace here, even if they are, yeah, not perfect here. But it works. So, anything else, or we should just say goodbye and this strange video in the middle of the night before I go on and enjoy more beers. I guess not. And yeah, the pick and place data. You maybe have seen it, but I show it anyway. And this is what I'm using it for. Locator here. When people build it, they can see a board. I want to use show resistors and all 10 ohm resistors. You can see highlighted there. All 3.3k there. So you can see where to solder it. Kilovirus. I actually got some 95% uh, alcohol from a Polish guy, so I can really kill some viruses. So this is something that Terrible Fire would need for uh, his spectrum build, I think, that shows that, okay, there it is, those two places. You can see current parts, there are two of them. And this uses the pick and place data. Anyway, thank you for watching this one. I hope you find it useful. I will do more videos later. Uh, I don't know when and where and uh, so. And but I will do show you how to redo the. O30 card for the Mega 4000 using Sprint, every part of it, and even when I ordered the PCB, when I got the PCB, and let's also solder it and see how it goes. I will do other videos as well because I have on my right side here a drawer with the Mega 3400 that I will do a video of restoring that one with a 3640 revision. 2.1 or something and the 030 slash 020 card for the Mega 4000 or 3400 and yeah show it do it nice card nice build of it etc anyway thank you for that one and um, this is it and uh, talk to you later or something bye bye